Right, this is another one of these nighttime driving vlogs, and as uh, that might well show, I don't know how well that, that showed up, but uh, we're on the road to Warsaw from Wrocławek. Um, this is the place where you uh, have to turn quite sharply left if you want to get on the bridge over the Vistula. I've been driving along the place where, if you look at a map of Poland, you see that the river Vistula gets remarkably wide, turns into a reservoir in between this city, which is Płock, uh, the place of the biggest oil refineries in Poland, and Wrocławek, which is further over to the western side. There's a whole, uh, if you like, reservoir, and the, and the, the Vistula is extremely broad there. It's what gives the, the Vistula its ability to uh, be a good flood retainer. If they know that floods are coming up from the more mountainous areas in the south, they drain it, and then it can uh, hold a lot of water um, when those floods eventually start to arrive in this area and let it out gradually afterwards. That's why uh, the Vistula in living memory hasn't been a, a source of such devastating floods as the Oder and the Warta, the other major Polish rivers. Uh, so uh, it's one of the strengths, the infrastructure strengths of this country, that it has good flood retention in the Vistula. Well, we're about to drive over the um, the bridge at Płock. Uh, there's two bridges here. There's the road bridge and the railway bridge. And on the other side is Płock Zoo, which obviously is in the middle of the night is closed. I'm going to come back, um, I hope, on some other occasion in the not too distant future, hopefully sometime over the summer. And uh, things come off that roundabout rather too quickly, I think. But there we are. Did slow down nicely again. And now we've got somebody overtaking me on the inside. There we go, isn't that good? Let's get his number. That's somebody that had to overtake me on the inside. What a prat. Do people say prat in America? I don't know. We'll find out, won't I? Leave a comment for you to say Pratt in America. So this is the, the bridge over the Vistula. You can see the sort of historical sites over that side, sort of lit up a little bit. And if I show you out on that left there, you can see the breadth of it all. I don't think it shows up all that well actually. And then ahead you can see the, the bridge. Płock was um, a seat of bishops throughout the Middle Ages, and that's what that castle over there is all about, the one that you can see lit up there, looking quite magnificent even, though you can't see it all that well, no doubt. But uh, that's what that's all about. And then you've got like a little castle here on this side, and you see the zoo is over there. You can see the letters showing that the zoo is there. It's quite a nice little zoo. For a small town, this is actually well invested in because of the the uh, oil business, the uh, Orlen oil company, the biggest, uh, well, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Polish private companies, um, obviously uh, fraught with allegations about political involvement, etc., in the uh, time of the last government, with all sorts of political repercussions uh, now uh, hanging around that uh, company and the politicians that have been involved with it. But, uh, probably not something which people outside Poland are going to worry about too much. But uh, does concern people here rather a lot. So uh, we come past that, and we here we are in uh, in Płock. It seems to me as though you know the, the doing these e videos. You, you can talk about them. You can talk about what you're seeing and and uh, what's going on here. But a lot of them are quite. You know, much of a muchness. Note if you ever drive through here that it's a quick, uh, it's a sharp right after you come to the bridge to get onto the Warsaw Road. Don't miss that. Although there are lots of other ways of getting on it if you do miss it. This is all a bit much of a muchness now. Warsaw to the left now. Um, I just wanted to, while I've got your attention, talk a little bit about this audio swapping feature that they've now got on um, on YouTube. I tried that on about three videos of mine where I you know wasn't altogether wasn't that I was not happy with the 
audio that I had. It's just that I felt like a bit of experimentation with them, just to see if, if doing that would give them a second lease of life. Um, yeah, I found it quite an interesting feature. But obviously, I'd encourage you to uh, have a look as well, and to take a few of your, your videos and uh, re revamp the soundtrack but do be aware that you do lose the old soundtrack you'll never get it back again uh, the only way of getting your old video with the old soundtrack back is to go back to your file if you've got it on your disc and, and sort of put it up again um, in which case you might have to edit it slightly to make sure that it doesn't uh, look as though it's the same video that you already got up before um, because then the software might balk at that so um, but it's all right. It's, it's, a, it's a good feature. I think it's a good idea if people have got worries about whether they're going to get sued over their uh, over their soundtracks, to give people the the opportunity to do that rather than have to um, get rid of their videos altogether. You know, it's a, it's a sort of large, last ditch attempt for some people to make their videos, as it were, kosher. Uh, pardon my non-literal use of the term kosher. Um, so that. Uh, so that they don't necessarily have to be wasted entirely if uh, somebody does stand up and say hey you're using something of mine there so um, in any event it, what would be very good is if uh, if when YouTube start to become a paying station which is apparently on the cards people are talking about it I have no knowledge of whether it's true or not true but I think it would be very good if we were allowed to have our accounts, those of us who wish to, our accounts designated as charity accounts, I don't mean instead of, but in addition to the director status, or if it is instead of, maybe with some different privileges. There's another sharp turn here to get back onto the main road to Walsall. Um, such as maybe a little bit extra time if you, if it's all going to charity anyway. And, uh, and then instead of having the money paid to us, if there is any money of course, um, it could go directly to charity. I would rather, you know, that, that uh, in, in the case of my channel and another channel that I'm about to start, and especially in the case of the other channel that I'm about to start, um, I, I really would rather actually just gift that money at source so that I never even see it, but it goes as a gift in my name to something like Cancer Research or the Red Cross or the United Way. These are all things which I support um, in fact, I did the audit of the Polish United Way pro bono. If you ever get the chance to see the, the Polish United Way financial statements, you'll see my name on the bottom of it. That was done pro bono. And of course, we also, um, as a company, uh, give to various of this sort of charities, as well as having our own charitable trust in our company, which uh, has a particular um, goal to look after young people who have a great talent and could go to university or do something else whether it's in science or in the arts or whatever they could really make something of themselves but they've got either a, you know a poor background with a lot of um, uh, brothers and sisters so their parents just don't have the money to send them unfortunately these things aren't entirely free uh, there's a lot of money involved and if you come from a poor background you simply can't go and um, so, so, or if maybe is is the case in a lot a lot of the parts of the world around here, if the family is dysfunctional, maybe one or, one or more of the parents is an alcoholic or into whatever substance abuse, but the children um, could really make something of, of themselves, but they just are uh, put by this these inauspicious circumstances into a situation where they simply can't afford to go to university and would re really waste that chance. Well, we have something called the strategia fund which gives these uh, these kids a chance to actually go to university well you say well hang on a second what kind of charity is this that actually is looking after the elite well the elite can actually be at certain times in their lives uh, as good a case for charity as anybody else and of course the elite are needed um, Poland lost its elite a lot of uh, the people that would be leaders in society in Poland um, that those genes got wiped out by the Nazis in the first place and then by uh, the Stalinists and then afterwards they of course uh, during the Jaruzelski period they had mass emigration 
and even till today there's mass emigration to other parts of the EU so um, Poland is a country in need of um, an elite um, people who are going to uh, get educated people who are going to learn skills and stay here and uh, make a contribution to society okay I just went on for a little bit didn't I but you've seen a little bit of uh, of um, Potsk at the same time, a little bit of Poland, a um, city that you don't often see, and uh, you've listened to me going on about things which uh, interest me, and thank you for your attention if you've listened this far. Do uh, mention in the comments box if you listen to the end, I'll be interested to see how many people uh, do that. Thank you, bye.